Hello and welcome to this video on precedence order rules. In this video, we will understand how to define a precedence order for a merge activity. Understanding precedence order levels. Precedence order is defined at three levels, at the dataset level, at the class level, and at the attributes level. Precedence order defined at dataset level gets inherited to the class level. Similarly, precedence order defined at class level gets inherited at the attributes level. Let us now consider an example to further understand precedence order. Consider that you have three source datasets. First source dataset is populated by ADDM, which is primarily used for discovery of servers. Let us say SCCM populates the second source dataset. Here, SCCM is used for client discovery. The third source dataset is the manual dataset to manually discover certain CIs that may not be discovered by ADDM or SCCM. There could be a case of overlaps. For example, even SCCM can discover certain set of servers. To address this issue of overlaps, you can define precedent order rules. Let us assume that you want ADDM dataset to have highest precedence for all server-side discovery. However, you want SCCM to have higher precedence for certain server attributes like system type and model. Further consider that three jobs are configured, one each for ADDM, SCCM and manual dataset. When the first job of ADDM runs, all the information is populated from ADDM to the target asset dataset. Remember that SCCM also discovers servers, say for example C1 in this case. Now during the merge operation, that is for SCCM dataset, the system type and model attributes are overwritten in the target dataset. This is because those two attributes have higher precedence order in SCCM than that for ADDM. Similarly, when you run the job for manual dataset, CI tag attribute in the manual dataset has higher precedence than that in the SCCM and ADDM datasets. Hence, CI tag attribute in manual dataset overrides the CI tag attribute in the target dataset. This is how the attributes precedence works based on the configured precedence order. Next, consider that the source dataset discovers information about monitor. In this case, ADDM dataset has the highest precedence. Hence, monitor information from ADDM dataset is populated into the target dataset. Similarly, all source datasets discover product information for which SCCM dataset has the highest precedence. Thus, product information from SCCM dataset is populated into the target dataset. Next, we will see how to configure the precedence order through BMC Atrium Core Console. Open the Reconciliation Manager from the BMC Atrium Core Console. Then, open the Standard Rules Editor. Select the datasets for which you want to configure the precedence order. Considering our earlier example, set the precedence order for each of the dataset. Similarly, Set the precedence order values for system type, model, and CI tag attributes. To set the values, double click on the desired cell and use the slider to adjust the precedence order value. Click Save after you have completed configuring the values. These precedence order values are applicable to the existing standard jobs as well as to the jobs that you will create later. Thank you for watching this video.